I have today one of the coolest model kits I have ever seen. I got this at the USA Gundam store, which I believe is Daytona Beach. I'm not sure. Honestly, I go there every once in a while. But this kit is enormous and beautiful and wonderful. Very excited about it. I have the Shanks limited edition dragon. Look, I can't even like, I don't have enough room for my face in the model kit. I've also had to back my chair up quite a bit just to be able to get this in frame. Look at it, it's amazing. I'm so excited to put this together. Uh, Let's do this. This is the colored version of this model kit. They do have it in a colored version and a white version. I have the white version. So if you guys like this video, please comment below and let me know. I will put together the white one for you. And we, I have some ideas on customization for that one. Um, so let me know if you're interested in that. But today we're going to put together the colored one for you guys. So let's go. Let's do this. Okay, so I started by sorting all the pieces out, making sure all of the pieces were there. And then I actually put them in alphabetical order because that's just how I like to do it. They fit in the box that way. And then I can just have them A, B, C, D, E, F. And this one went, I think, to H. So for me, that's the easiest way on a simple model kit. Now I do have a tray that I'll show you guys another day for something that's a little more large and a little more complicated. But for this one, it was very simple to just have them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and whatever. And then just for each step, I would cut out all of the pieces and then I would trim them with my hobby knife before I put them together. And then it's just a matter of putting the pieces together almost like a puzzle. Okay, so please excuse the no makeup, no fuss, no fuss version of me, but, but anyway, I finished the head. Oh, also my fiance is playing World of Tanks in the background. So please ignore that too. But um, I finished the head, I have some thoughts. Um, overall it's pretty good, and maybe I'm just spoiled by Bandai and Kodakia kits. Some of the parts were a little more difficult to pick together. My main thing is, is the neck here. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's supposed to move, but I mean, look at how much pressure I'm putting there. And it doesn't want to move. And I, sh I sanded it down a little bit. I shaved it down a little bit. I don't want it to be so loose that it doesn't hold, but that's that's also, that's very tight. Now, the mouth, on the other hand, it's tight, but it moves really well. So that's, that's pretty awesome and badass. And I had options for the eyes, orange or red. I took a poll around the family and we all kind of agreed that the orange stood out a little better than the teal color. So we went with orange. Um, but other than that, everything was pretty cool. Everything went together pretty well. And now for the maybe not quite as fun part, the next series of instructions, now that I've gotten the head done, it's parts of the body. Now, I say not as fun because you guys can see this. So I finished this part. This is the last step that I, I did. Now we're starting on this section, section C. But if you notice, I have to do it 20 times. Not two, 20. 20 freaking times. So this kid is gonna get a bit repetitive. I'm gonna give you guys a different camera view so that, you know, at least you guys have something different to look at. But um, 
I'm gonna get started on that. Let's go. Okay, so there's one piece. Only 20 more to go. Let's do it. After building the first two, I realized it was probably easier to go ahead and do all of them at once, just because it'd be easier for part finding and whatever else. So that's why I've got huge, huge things, piles of parts here and I'm just going through and doing them one by one but I'm doing one step by one step instead of doing all five steps 20 times I did one step at a time 20 times and that's why it looks the way that it does here also this took me about four days uh, to complete just because I mean it's a lot of tedious tiny little work making sure that every little piece of flash or everything is off of them also I'm a little bit compulsive about it so I like them to be absolutely perfect even the pieces that go on inside because even though nobody else will see it I will and I know that it's wrong so it won't be right for me but that's why you see me in a whole bunch of different outfits during the course of this video is because it actually took me about four days and if we're being really honest what I'm wearing right in this clip right here is pajamas. Please don't judge.
guys. So I know that y'all have probably seen that I had that piece missing off of one of the legs and I couldn't find it. I've looked everywhere. Bullet, this is not about you. Bullet wants to be in the vlog. Anyway, so I was looking, I looked all around the bottom of my desk and everything. And I'm sitting here getting all of the extra pieces off because I'll show you what I do with those in a second. But I pulled the box. Look, there you go. All right. I went to pull the box off my desk so that I could spread all the pieces out, put the pieces together at the end. Box like this. Apparently, I'd put all the plastic bits from where the things were in there right here. And lo and behold, in one of the plastic bags. Look at that. Can you see that? Just loose. In one of the plastic bags that I had left in the top of the box. Check everything. Check everything before you throw it away. Okay. Okay, so just to show you, I have these clear drawer things that I got actually from the Dollar Tree. Um, I don't know if they still have them. I bought a whole bunch of them a while ago. I like them from model kits. I take them and I take all of the bits that are left over. This is a lot of these model kits come with extra pieces, especially like the tiny ones. This one had a lot of extra because it had options for some of the scales. So there's a whole bunch of these. And I put everything in the little drawer. And then I have a stack of them on my shelves over here and I get my label maker and I just put a little label on it right there. And that's how I store my extra bits so that if I want to access them for whatever reason, I have them there, they're labeled, they're ready to go and they're easy access. And it's not just if, you know, I decide randomly that I want to change the colors on the toes. It's, you know, I have the white and gray version of this as well so maybe I'll want to put the blue eyes on that one or whatever else so I like to keep all of my spare bits all I've got left is to put the pieces that I made together so this is the last bit the easy bit it all comes together here ladies and gentlemen
This is really spiky. Like, I see the dents in my hand. Can you see that? All these dents from the spikes. Part of model. Part of model building. This one's just particularly spiky. And last but not least, the tail. Oh my goodness. Let me put it this way. This is I'm measuring that. And the mat is 36 inches long. And we are right at about 33 from nose to the end of the tail. That's huge. So all that's left is I'm gonna pose it up, give you guys some beauty shots with some epic music, and I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. And just remember, when you're thinking about your next project or your next goal in life, whatever it might be, why not you? Have a great day, guys.